Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to another monster video. So, in today's video, we're going to be checking out the new bounty hunt. So, the bounty hunt just dropped today. There are two new monsters and a bunch of other ones, existent ones that are back. They're in the shop, and I'll go ahead and give my opinion on all these monsters, which ones are worth it and which ones aren't. I hope you guys are excited for today's video. If you are, make sure to drop a like, subscribe, show the case on. Anyways, let's go ahead and get started. Ladies and gentlemen, as you guys can see, the bounty hunt's actually back. So, let's go ahead and enter it. Before we do that, let me go ahead and collect all my gold because it's just laying around. Anyways, so bounty hunt, guys, it's back. There are are new fugitive monsters i almost said dragons yeah new fugitive monsters are here guys and um i've got to say they actually kind of like buffed them especially ragnarok i from what i heard they increased his health a little more so that kind of sucks um but anyways the arrows guys let's go ahead and get into this i'm just gonna go ahead and flip some tiles first of all so you see these arrows so basically um the colors don't really mean anything you just have to follow them so this purple one right here is pointing towards the right and this blue one or cyan one is pointing downwards these ones are pointing downwards as well so how about we just cut this in the middle right here so now that we cut it in the middle that means the blue right here we don't have to really tap on anything in here that means we have to focus somewhere around here and as you can see this red one is going towards the left so i see the black one oh there's a black one in there as well so it could be somewhere around here then yep okay so that was a lucky shot it wasn't the towel that we really was looking for but the purple bag let's see what it actually contains here so you can get cells for earth Thug and also mandarka there's also gems and 75 bouncy coins all right um so it has to be somewhere around here maybe this one that was a lucky shot as well. Come on. You're seizing me now. Oh, you know what? That's actually not so bad. This is actually my first two tiles that um, I've actually kind of like tapped on this bounty on so far. Let's tap on this one. And <laughs> okay, that was, that was actually not that bad. We got two purples in a row and then we got the monster, the fugitive. So here's the thing. Uh, before I actually get into like what monsters to purchase, uh, checking out the bounty on fugitive, this and that. Let's actually go ahead and um, complete this real quick. We're going to go ahead and battle this. All right. So let me see, I'm going to try to use some of my monsters here, like, uh, I guess I'll use Cherub Cupid here because I don't really have the Fugitive Killer at the moment. Um, I don't think I'm actually going to purchase that monster, and I'll go ahead and get into, like, a little more in-depth um, throughout this video on why I'm not going to purchase it, why I'm going to skip this one. But, um, yeah, so we're going to go ahead and just equip a talent, maybe, you know, just for that extra damage um and we're just gonna run like triple attackers or something yeah man i still using it i've got to say the the monster is not so bad um in team wars i still run it it's a solid monster it's not insane okay like it used to be but at the same time it's not like too bad so anyways um i just want to go with one that actually deals some extra damage uh, i guess we could do like burning hands or something like that i don't know just some simple uh but we're gonna just run triple attacker team like this let's go ahead and challenge it um i'm hoping that there's nobody active right now oh wait did i just defeat it on my first go i'm not sure maybe i mean this one it's really easy to beat because it's only like one monster and i mean there's only like what 3 million hp i think or 300k no it's i think 3 million if i'm not mistaken somewhere around there so it's really easy to beat it 200k damage dealt right there with 90k and so on so i think uh we should be able to defeat it this battle pretty sure i can yeah 80k damage come on you can do that of course look at that guys we went ahead and defeated the fugitive one tapped it uh with just basically all we needed was one battle and um bonus rewards what does it come with let's see 25 gems 100 coins there's a slime up cells so, so far, I've gotten about, what, 20 cells, uh, 30 cells, and that's about it. So, 30 cells, 40 cells in total, and also we got some extra gems and so on. Not bad on our first go, right? And all we did was just spend three tiles, three stamina, right? Just to find it, and then an extra stamina, which was four, just to basically get the monster. But uh, in total, it was, of course, five stamina, if I'm not mistaken. Um, but anyways, new group to join it looks like there's infernal crap so this is one of the newest features as well and uh okay the reward will be 25 gems to find it or just to kill it and then 100 bounty coins all right cool and the stamina resets as well all right um so this is league two guys uh of course the fugitive might be different for you guys but oh, what i didn't even mean to tap on a tile are you kidding me i just wanted to tap on the fugitive killer so you see that actually happens so for example if you like hover it over here and try to tap on the fugitive hater it just basically goes on to like you know flipping the tile free it's, it's kind of weird um but anyways so let's actually get into um the bounty shop now okay i'm gonna go ahead and give you guys my opinion on what's worth and what's not first of all rack striker it's a pretty good attacker 
he mainly relies on raw damage um and it's a metal with dark monsters so if you really need like to update your metal or dark category um especially like attacker right then you can go ahead and use um rack striker and basically purchase them and he comes with shield removal and damage mirror skills as well um i'm not really a huge fan of his traits to be honest his traits could have been better but i do like the relic slot as a double sword it's not so bad um i just wish there was maybe like a stamina regen type of relic for him or something i don't know but uh the monster hits pretty heavy uh if you want to go with a monster like that then rack striker is the guy but i'm personally going to skip on him um i think i'm okay honestly plus i have to you know um, I, I still need to rank up my previous uh, monster for bounty hunt. Like for example, you guys know I purchased Elfira. Elfira is maxed out by the way. I had to max it out recently for like a recent um, difficult war. So that one's maxed out. I don't have to worry about that monster anymore. But this one right here, I still need to go ahead and max this one out. So I could get it to 146 soon, 148, and then basically 150. And that will be done. And I'm not sure if I have any more bounty hunt monsters to rank up, but there are many other ones that I still need to rank up, you know what I mean? Like there's XMS and so on that I need to work on uh, in the rank of Revel Engine. So, I mean, if I had, if it was free, you know, like I didn't have anybody to rank up at the moment, I'd go ahead and maybe get like a rank zero or a rank three and work on it. But again, I'm not really a huge fan personally, but at the same time, the monster doesn't suck. So it's really up to you if you want to purchase them or not. Uh, Slimuk on the other hand, I think this monster is meh. I did an analysis yesterday on Slimuk. The monster has PR skills, you know, more PR skills. And then there's a double relic slot, the trap ones, right? I told you guys I had to go with Slumster or something else. Um, but the monster can also remove its own life, which kind of sucks. If I'm not mistaken, it was like 40% or something. So if you guys want to check out the analysis, you can go ahead and do that. I will be doing a review on it very soon, so make sure you guys are subscribed. But again, if you want to go for like a high rank, that's up to you. I personally wouldn't recommend. But uh, if you want to go ahead and do it, go for it, I guess. Nobody's going to stop you, but just wanted to, you know, give you guys my opinion on that. Uh, this monster, Danny Cyrus. Well, Danny Cyrus is okay, I would say. I'm not really a huge fan of that monster. It has life removal, percentage removal skills, you know what I mean? So if you are into monsters like those, Thanosaurus is there. You can pick him up. Um, the only reason why I'm going to pick this guy up... Actually, I already have him. Oh, that's interesting. I didn't even know. Um, oh, I was going to say, the reason why I'm going to pick up Earthog and Nandarka is because of Book Rewards. So, you guys know I don't have those two monsters. I just kind of, like, missed out on them. I wasn't really a huge fan of this one because the monster... When the, when it, when the mace came out, I wasn't really a huge fan of him. Um, he kind of sucks, in my opinion. So, I just, like, skipped on him. And now I kind of wish I got him because of uh, Book Rewards. So I'll pick him up this Bounty Hunt though. I'll go ahead and do that. So let's go ahead and get back to Ogronk. Not really worth it in my opinion, guys. Don't, you could skip that one unless you need it for Book Rewards. This one also only worth it for Book Rewards. Same thing as this one. Right Clubs is actually pretty good in my opinion. You can still use it. One of the good Metro Monsters. So you can pick that one up and max that out if you want. Uh, Free Tester is actually not that bad either. Um, so if you want to go ahead and pick it up and max it out, that's up to you. Maltius, they're a better light attack, or fire attacker, sorry. So, I wouldn't really recommend unless you really want to. And then last but not least, Tertullian. Tertullian is actually not that bad. Uh, for a corrupted monster, it's really not that bad. So if you want to go ahead and pick him up and basically start using him, then you can. But yeah, why is this monster still here? I feel like, I feel like Nerida is going to be here forever, no? Oh, never mind, six days. After six days, it'll be gone. Okay, that makes sense. Uh, but yeah, I just wanted to go ahead and give you guys my opinion on the shop monsters. But uh, let me go ahead and try to flip some tiles here. What about this one? Nope. What about this one? Okay. I'll just choose a random tile in there. Just wanted to, you know, spend my last stamina because why not? Um, but anyways, so right now, guys, um, there is no task here in Monsterwood. But apparently, players are actually getting like tens of thousands uh 15,000 gems per task now especially the raid task so i recommend checking that to see if you actually have it in monsterwood uh they increase the price of that like the amount of gems you're actually getting so i would say it's really worth it if you could like get your hands on one of those um i just checked and i didn't have it sadly but if i do i'll go ahead and put my hands on it and get it you know what i mean so it's a really good um task it's literally the best task in my opinion uh but anyways guys 
just wanted to make this video to help you guys out with the bounty hunt. Uh, if you need a good team for this bounty hunt, I would say use um, Algata, Don Canine, and Vrak Striker. All three of these can get you to deal probably 50 million or even 100 million or higher. Um, you can even do Gekon instead of Don Cannon if you want. So Gekon with Algata and this monster. Or you can even do that legendary monster, the fire one that, you know, gives damage boost here and there. So let me actually show you guys in case you don't know which one I'm talking about. This one right here. Sinfair is actually not that bad. You see there's like the triple damage here, right? Removes negative status. Like there's a damage boost actually 50%. And the third, there's a double damage, triple damage as well. You know what I mean? So I would say if you can get this monster and basically run it alongside, especially for those of you guys that are missing out on Alcata. But anyways, guys, that's going to be pretty much it for today's Monster Gen. Bounty on. I hope you guys enjoyed and feed it. Make sure to drop a like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.